apartment. Um, this like decoration, I guess. Um, and I've just been saving them for like two years at this point because I wanted to use them for a video and I just never got around to it. So I'm trying to Marie Kondo up my place a little bit. And so uh, part of that is using up all these uh, ASMR supplies that I've been hoarding like a weird dragon. Just hoarding things that make crinkle noises. Um, yeah, so. It seems like people like it when I talk, so I'm gonna do more talking videos. Um, whisper rambling, rather. Um, but so I wanted to talk about my apartment a little bit. Um, you know, I've been living here a little over two years now. And it's pretty nice, I like it. Um, the only thing I really don't like is a lot of people have subwoofers in their cars and they just like to just blast them. And I'm just like, guys, that's not cool. It's not cool. It was never cool. <laughs> but it's just like doubly not cool now in 2020. And I feel like the people that just come into the, into the apartment complex, like there's hundreds of people that live in these apartments. Like maybe don't be a jerk about it. And, you know, so, if you have subwoofers, I'm not sorry. I hate you. Please get rid of your subwoofers. No one likes you. But for everybody else, who is considerate. Welcome to Crinkle Town, baby. I have a whole box of these. I don't know why they... It, it was just trash. It was just like, here, you clean this up. It was just left on the counter. So I was like, all right, well, they crinkle good. So I want to make a video with them. Uh, but yeah, so I like my apartment, except for the subwoofer people. Uh, I'm just ready to move into a house, you know? Um, I think I'm getting to that age, maybe. I don't know if it's an age thing or a maturity thing. Um, there's an extra ribbon. I don't know where that came from. I'm just gonna put that back in the box. Um, you know, I just want more space. Um, which is part of the reason why I'm doing the Marie Kondo thing is to get a bunch of crap out of here and, you know, really uh, focus on designing my space to be productive as possible. Which is nice. I've got my own little ASMR desk here. Um, well, it's just a general YouTube desk. I kind of like the background. It's not amazing, but, you know, it's, uh, it's what I got. So I'm going to work with it. Um, but a house would be nice. I really would like, like, a home gym. I kind of have a, a side room over there that's like an office. Uh, but I moved my computer right there. So then I made that into, like, a little gym. It's not very big, you know, it just kind of has some, some hockey stuff in it. Um, because I play hockey, you know, not very good, I'm just a beer leg player, but it's fun, and it's been helping me lose weight, and be active, and get outside my apartment, you know, once or twice a week, so I keep doing that, and it gives me a reason to work out, and it's, you know, it's something I like to do, so, uh, but, you know, I'd really like to have a house, I'd really like to not have to deal with subwoofer neighbors all over the place, I really wish I had a backyard for my dog again. You know, he seems to love. I mean, we've been going on big long walks and he loves his walkies, but I think he'd be happier if he had a yard that he could run around in, you know. And so, um, I think that's that's one of my three year goals. Um yeah, I, I decided on some three year goals, uh, recently. And uh, you know, I was thinking because I read, I read a lot of like self-help, self-development books, uh, self-improvement books, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I've been thinking about maybe doing ASMR self-development videos. So I don't know if you guys would find that interesting or if it's just dumb. Uh, I might try a couple, but leave a comment down below if you think that's a good idea. Um, anyway, these are just getting all over the place. <laughs> this is why I haven't made this video before now. I'm on the microphone. <laughs> um, yeah. God, what a mess. This, this is like 10% of them. 
I don't know why the people in the apartment complex left so many of them, but I got them, and now they're going to the trash as soon as I hit stop on this video. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, so that, those are kind of my plans. Um, I don't have money to buy a house. I guess that's where I was going with this. So I need to make money, so I'm going to be making a lot more ASMR videos. Can you get that YouTube money? I don't, you know, I make very little money on YouTube. Uh, most of my money comes from actual freelance video production work, but that's okay, because uh, I have fun making YouTube videos, and if one day I end up making a bunch of money, it's gravy. Um, I don't know why I held these up, but, you know, if you want to help out, help with my house fund, uh, I have a little coffee, I think it's called, uh, and it works with, like, PayPal, and you can leave donations, um, you know, and if you're one of those people that don't use ad blockers, thank you so much, because that helps uh, with the ad revenue. Um, you know, YouTube doesn't pay super great unless you're, you know, a big YouTuber. It only pays, you know, uh, one or two dollars per thousand views, give or take. Um, so, I think most of my videos make like 20 cents. So, you know, I'm rolling in it. But uh, it's always been a pipe dream to buy a house with YouTube money. So, uh, maybe one day, like 600,000 years from now, I'll get there. Or maybe if I just do more talking videos. The talking videos seem to do much better. They get more like 100 some views as opposed to the average videos that make only get like 50 views. So, I don't know. Just trying to have fun doing this and trying to give you people the dingles and help you relax. Um, Thumbnail, but hold it for a second. No, it's not. That's a 